Hey, Dr. K, what you doing? Hey, Midland, I'm working on a new interface for computer voting machines. A new interface for computer voting machines? A new interface for computer voting machines. Ah, right, got it. How does it work? Well, the Republican candidate's name will be in red, and the Democratic candidate's name will be in blue, and what do you mean, the text color or the background color? I'm sorry, what? When you say red and blue, do you mean the color of the text or the color of the background? Um, I don't remember. Oh, well, that should be easy enough to test. Just uh, load up some candidates' names, we'll check their party affiliations, and we'll see how it's working. Ah, well, there's a problem with that. Is there? Yes, uh, the interface isn't quite ready for that yet. What do you mean? Well, you can't load candidates' names into it. Well, then what displays when you're in the voting booth? Well, this. What, red and blue? Yes. Well, so it's like some sort of voting across party lines anonymous system of voting? Well, you know what they say about not knowing how sausages are made. Yes, I know what they say about not knowing... But I mean, it's still ambiguous, because the, the red is on a blue and the blue is on a red and... I, I don't even know which one is which! How do I know which button to press? Well, there's a problem with that. You think?! Yes, well, now there's, the right now there's a glitch in the binary system that is actually registering instead of one vote or another, it's registering whether you voted or not voted. What does that even mean? Well, it means that if you press one button, yes, or you press the other button, yes, it only votes for the candidate that is at the top of the list. Okay, wait. So, let me get this straight. Shoot. You've invented a voting interface that is ambiguous, yes, devoid of information, yes, and is only capable of registering votes for one party? Correct. So it's utterly useless. On the contrary, Diebold has just, just ordered, ordered 100,000 100, units. Just, uh, wait a minute, how did you know that? Anybody out there not see that one coming? Well, it, it's funny because it's true! If by funny you mean frustrating, depressing, and indicative of the degree to which American society is crumbling due to political corruption, then yes, it's funny! Ha! Would it be funnier if I used a different font? Bill Bixby would think it was funny. No, he wouldn't! Hulk smash!